Hello everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Bliss Slow Machine. Yes indeed, um, Bliss has released a new app called Slow Machine which allows you to slow tempo and it is very loaded with uh, a fantastic set of features. Before I start, as usual, I have a number of codes to give away so courtesy of Bliss, so check the video description to uh, where you can find the instruction on how to participate to the giveaway and also check the latest uh, uh, comment or the first comment in the comment section to see if the competition is still open or if indeed uh, uh, winners have been announced. So let's start, we are inside the AUM, Slow Machine is an AUV free effect although you can also run it as um, uh, in standalone mode. So I have just to, yeah, an audio channel, and the audio channel I have a file player which is playing in one, which is playing one of my composition, and here I have the uh, slow machine um, effect from Bliss. So as you can see, uh, very much uh, usual UI, very familiar, um, simple but effective UI from Bliss, which is uh, really really nice. And I have to say that. Um, there are um, a few things which are new about the application. So you can start, for example, is um, you can turn on and off different part of um, of the applications in terms of how, of how you are changing the effect and therefore uh, the output uh, that you are obtaining. And you do that changing here from on and off the state. So in this case, in, in this case, turning on and off these set of the screen, this option which you find here, like here, for example, at the bottom left, the if you want to have this band filter active or not in that region. And the same here on the time stop, you have one and off uh, as well. And but you have also a different part here, the, another section. You have a sequencer which allows you to create steps, and then for each of the steps to decide how the amount of speed the modulation that you want to apply, which is quite unique as a, an application. So let's set these at the moment to off in terms of speed. Let's play first of all um, what I selected as a, an audio file. Okay, so you know what that is. Now let me show you here. You first thing you can do is to slow speed. So you can say slow by half, which will, will also play one octave below the current pitch or the, the original pitch. So let's try. <laughs> Now you can set quantization on and off in terms of changing the speed at the end of the loop size, which is selected here, or if you want the change to be automatically be applied. The interesting thing up here on the loop size is that you this allows you to synchronize um, to the um, host tempo, which in this case is from AUM, after one bar or after two bars or after half bar. So in this case, if it is half bar, so if it is off speed here and you have the loop size set to one bar, after one bar, it will resynchronize with the position of where it should be in the audio file. So in that case, it, moved, it keeps moving forward nicely. And um, as I show you in a moment, the shorter you make this, the loop size, it will uh, start to accelerate the plane because it's obvious it will uh, uh, synchronize to the original plane position more frequently. So let's try. So hopefully you can see how you can apply different loop sizing here to change the synchronization and also to change the speed here. Next thing you can do is to enable the filter. And so let's see how that works. You just turn it on here and then you can move the low frequency and the high frequency corresponding and it will filter accordingly. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, here you have a fade option, which allows to uh, the fading in milliseconds as you move between the loop sizes, which is really nice. You have a dry and wet effect, okay, which is self-explanatory. And you have the same dry effect here on the time stop uh, um, section of the screen, together with the on and off mix button. But this is quite unique as well, really interesting for live performance. So you can choose the mode. So for example, here you can apply time stop in this ramp down effect. And then when you release the time stop from here, it will go up straight away. Or you can have it in a different mode like this one where it grow, you have a ramp down and ramp up. So let's try. <laughs> Hopefully you saw the difference with this one where you have a ramp down but not a ramp up. So when I, I released the button from here, it went straight away to um, the original speed without um, going through a gradual ramp up transition. You can have also hold effect, so which will hold the position. So let's try again. <laughs> And of course, when you um, turn off the hold position, it goes, you follow back the mode that um, you have selected. Up here, you see the selection of some default preset and also the possibility to randomize parameters. Okay. And, and as I mentioned earlier, you have a sequencer as well, which is really, really cool. Again, let's go through the controls on and off for the mix, the dry, wet effect. Here you can select the number of steps, like in this case, let's say eight. Here the resolution for each step. Here you can have snap into the grid or on and off, which you can see here the grid. Okay. Then for each of the steps, you decide if you want to have them in link mode, ramp up, ramp down. Okay. And, and so you can have different um, ways in, 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 in which the speed will change. So for example, in this mode, you can see it moves like that, okay? And you can see the link effect on the previous step because this step here at the end says it's linked to the next one. So you can see the link here in the same position. You can also select it to have a ramp up, so like so, okay? Again, if um, I was to move this one like that, okay, this is the link effect, or you can have a ramp down as well, okay? And again, if here I could change it to this one, like so. And then here I could have it um, ramp down, okay, like so. Um, and now you can uh, decide the amount of um, the speed of modulation that you apply here, okay. So if it is down to zero, you don't, you would only have any speed variation. You can also have it uh, randomized in terms of the application of the speed uh, modulation, and you can have fading effects between one step to the other. So let's try. Okay, really, really cool. Let's decrease the resolution again to hear it better. So tremendous amount of possibility with slow machine from Blaze is a very, very unique uh, um, effect, really nice, very effective. So really fantastic for live performances. So I hope you enjoyed this introduction and see you next time. Bye.